In addition to a robust strategy, I think we need to have a robust authorization. Uh, and I don't believe that what the president said here gives him the flexibility or the authority uh, to take on this enemy and to win. So House Speaker John Boehner on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace saying the president's ID at the moment actually gives him less authority to go after ISIS terrorists than he has at the moment. What about that? Carl Rove served as senior advisor, deputy chief of staff to President George W. Bush, also a Fox News contributor. And Carl, good morning to you there in Austin, Texas. Speaker Boehner is saying what right now on this debate? Well, he's saying that he believes the president, first of all, needs a strategy and he doesn't have a strategy, that that strategy has to be robust enough to see victory as, as the end goal, and that the administration has put forward a resolution that con constrains the president uh, in, in ways that make it unlikely that he can achieve the goal of victory. And so uh, Speaker Boehner represents one poll in this debate, which is that it needs to be robust and strong. The, that we have others in this debate, uh, Adam Schiff, for example, has spoken recently in days, in recent days on this, who believe that, that the president's proposal is too broad and needs to be constrained even further. So it's going to be a difficult and long debate uh, to, to get a resolution. I guess interesting, too. A long debate meaning weeks, if not months. In the weeks. Means, and you, you've got, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and, and as Senator Corker, the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, pointed out, in the Senate, you need to have 60 of 100 senators voting for it. It's not simple majority is in the House. There have to be 60 senators who agree to a resolution. Now, the good news is, is that the president has authority. He understands he has authority under the 2001 Authorization of Use of Force Resolution passed by the Congress that allows him to act against ISIS. He wants a new resolution, though, to replace that for, for, for I think, frankly, partisan reasons, for political reasons. He wants to be able to say, I ended the war that began on my predecessor's watch, and I limited my, uh, the U.S. involvement to three years, uh, which, is, which is one of the things that people have a, a problem with. How, how can you guarantee that this operation is yeah. going to be over in three well, years? Well, this, this is a national debate that's about to begin, and I think the American people need to be ready for it. You mentioned Adam Schiff. Uh, You've got two developments already today, Carl. You've got the government of Egypt calling on the United States, according to a Reuters report one hour ago, asking us to lead on the strikes um, in that part of the world, specifically on Libya. You mentioned Adam Schiff. Some Democrats, including Schiff, want limits on this authority. Here's what he said yesterday. I think it's very important that we find a way to get to yes uh, on an authorization. But I also think it's very important that we not write another blank check. We did that 14 years ago with the 2001 authorization. Uh, and that authorization continues in force under the president's proposal. How do we get to yes then, Carl? Well, it's going to be difficult because, remember, Adam Schiff voted for the 2001 resolution. Uh, he also, I believe, voted for the authorization of use of force in Iraq. But the, the, the Congress has a tool to manage their policy disagreements with the president over war fighting, and it's called the budget process, the power of the purse. But I think it is, un Senator McCain made the argument that these kind of uh, restraints that people like Schiff and even the president are looking for in the war resolution are unconstitutional restraints on the constitutional war making power of the president. So, you know, the, the Congress can uh, authorize the use of force, and if it doesn't like how that force is being used, it can deny it funds for it. But no, uh, you know, Adam Schiff, Senator Barack Obama in 2005 attempted to deny uh, the use of monies for. A war fighting and couldn't get the votes. So uh, this is going to be a very complex uh, uh, process. I, I, think, and, and I be, think you're right about that. Leon Panetta said this should have been done six months ago. How late are we? Well, and, he, it, and he's right. If the president wanted to have a uh, authorization, a use of force against ISIS, it was clear six months ago that, that, that force was needed to contain ISIS. But that was also before an election. And the president did not want to disrupt his narrative that these, you know, as he told Glowcell Green in his recent YouTube interview, I've responsibly ended two wars, he claimed. Well, we're still fighting in Afghanistan and we're still fighting in Iraq. And six months ago before an election, that wouldn't have fit the narrative. But let's be clear about this. The American American people know this is from the latest Quickly. Fox News poll. Do we have a clear do we have a clear strategy? 19 yes, 73 no. Last September it was 26 yes, 64 no. Will airstrikes alone get it done? 23% say yes, 60% say ground forces. Last fall it was 27-51. So wow. American people know we don't have a clear strategy and what mm -hmm. we're doing ain't working. And here we go. Carl Rove, thank you. Out of Austin, Texas this morning. Good to have you back. 21 pounds. Here's Patty Ann.